paint was being made. And all these colors that I've already been making here, they're from these pigments. And my pigments are coming from different stones and minerals. So earth material, simple things, like maybe a yellow ochre here, or a red ochre that's iron within them that gives it the color. More exotic things were also used, like malachite for green, or maybe even lapis lazuli for such a bright blue. And then here, all of my colors, they get commonly mixed with linseed oil. Linseed oil, that's a simple seed oil from our little linen seeds or flax seeds. So they're very healthy, people eat them. Oil is also healthy, keeps you regular. That's another story. But painters, <coughs> I like it. For painters is it's going to dry, and the way it dries is air goes into the oil and it physically changes itself into plastic. So when I get my color mixed in, that's what I've been doing here. These are all still flexible like oil, but when that dries, it's going to harden and become light fast like my my stones and minerals. So I go from my lighter colors to my darker ones. Now, as exciting as that blue, I have to get to our darker colors. What I have here, this nice brown, it's what we call an umber. An umber is a simple stone like this, usually from Umbria, from Italy. I'm forgetting its name. So all of them are imported from somewhere else. And you could grind them up yourself, but there were also these windmills in Rembrandt's time, like we have here. These paint grinding windmills that would turn these different stones into powders. So that's one less thing you have to do. What we're going to do here to start with, with that powder, so we're going to add a little bit of alcohol. It's just pure rubbing alcohol. But that makes this dry powder more of a workable paste. It's kind of like my pasta. It's kind of like cooking. The more you do this, the better you do. That's what Rembrandt felt, because his students had to do this for maybe a couple of years before he let them use paint. That way they really knew all the ins and outs of these different colors. So now my linseed oil, and I don't want too much, but what I know is that the blue one that I made earlier takes very small amounts of the oil because it's a pure mineral, where this one, being more of an earthen material, takes a lot more oil. You know, every one's a little different, different that way. They all work up into paint differently. That's why the students had to do this for a couple of years before Rembrandt let them use that paint. 